Welcome once again back to the lab. It is your old Professor Pilk, and we have a little correction to make. Now, the other day, uh, I dropped a video about these uh, these tower bosses, and we didn't think they were available. Now it turns out they are available. It, it's it's confusing. Um, basically, if you, if you didn't know, you have to approach these guys from behind. So I've got one here. There's several basic things you need to do. Now, number one... You do need to have, like, this guy right here. I need to aggro him. I really need him kind of... There we go. Come on, pay attention to me. I need to make sure that I have a current want that that doesn't expire, and I need to get in here and basically have him aggro the boss without us doing any damage. Now, the number one thing I'm going to do here is command my pals not to attack. Because if they attack, that pretty much ruins this whole thing. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Now, I haven't watched the... Uh, the intro animation here yet, so I'm going to check this out. This is the one for the, uh, essentially, in-game PETA. Which, if you pay attention to what they're doing, they're, like, the worst ever. <laughs> you going to be alright there, girl? Lily and, uh, totally, completely not Guard of War. So, we need to make sure we do not attack. We need to just basically run around and hide and do not attack. My pals cannot attack. But, oh, she's hitting me through the pillar. That is that is bad news. Now, I got to get this guard basically. Oh, oh, she already in the corner? Nice. So, this is the good news. So, once she has your back to you, you have to go. You have to basically hit them in the back. I've had them where they kind of face you. But if that's the case, you need to make sure that you kind of run around to the back. But you'll notice here that they don't attack, they don't aggro. It is a 100% catch rate, but I need to make sure I hit her in the back. So I'm gonna kind of circle around here. And boom. Noise. So it is still a thing, you can still do this. Now, there's several reasons why I wanted to cover this. Number one, now, the only downside of this is now I do need to respawn, and it is going to leave my items there, so I've basically got to make my way back. But there's several big reasons why I wanted to cover this. Number one, these bosses are insanely powerful, and I do mean insanely powerful. And eventually, these are going to disappear. They're, this is not going to be an option for us much longer. So number one, what I would recommend you do is start a, a single-player mission. Now, I'm currently in a mission with a bunch of friends, we, are, we do have a group server. Who knows how long that's going to last. You know, people might fall out of this game in a month or two. But, you know, everybody's eventually going to rediscover this game and want to play it again. And when that happens, you want to have that nice single player save where you have these guys backed up. Now, there is the outside possibility they could nerf it and they could take them away or, or whatever. I kind of don't feel like that's going to happen. Um, the way the devs have kind of been treating this game and kind of the tongue-in-cheek nature of the game leads me to believe that if you take advantage of this exploit, more than likely you're going to be able to keep these guys. So do this in your, in your server, but also do this on a single-player save. Now, we will cover single-player saves and all that in a whole other video. The other thing you need to know is you could do this multiple times. I'm going to go ahead and head back to my base here for a minute and pull her out, but you can do this multiple times and I do mean multiple times so let's go ahead and grab her out of the uh, bin there we go bam and notice that it does keep I'm gonna go ahead and replace fluffy uh, it does keep that little um, the boss icon there so at some point the bosses were probably if not catchable they uh, will be obtainable so you know if they take away, worst case scenario, they probably just take the uh, take the trainers out. Ooh, we're getting raided. I'm going to walk up here real quick so uh, everyone else can kind of take care of that in the server currently. Um, so my recommendation would be, number one, make sure you do this on not only your server, but also on a single player save. There's going to be a point in time, as I said before, where you're going to come back to this game after six months to a year. And you go, man, you know, how's everything doing? How's everything going? Number two... And then I, let's not pretend like we don't come back to Pokemon games and play those after years and years and years and years and years. I do it all the time. I still play Red from time to time. So, like, that is a thing. Number two, and arguably one of the most important features of this, 
are you need to catch 10 of each mon anyway. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to do that that den, you know, several more times. Let's see if I can send her out here after them, see if she'll uh, actually aggro. I'll set her to command uh, to attack aggressively. There we go. Let's see what happens with her. Come on. Let her out there to wreak havoc. There she goes. Noise. Get him. They're like level 38. I really do want to capture some of these guys. These guys are way too high level for me to do. Number two, and arguably the most important factor here. Uh, while, yes, you do want to catch 10 of them, you can catch the 10 of the units in the overworld and it works fine. Um, for me personally, I find since the bosses are a guaranteed catch, it's a little bit easier to get what you need out of that. Though it is time consuming, and as I said, I dropped my gear back there, so I've got to go recollect my gear. In fact, I should probably go do that after this raid has expired. Let's go ahead and drop. There we go. Uh, sorry, ADD, a little distracted there. Number two are unit upgrades. Now, the first upgrade is like, I believe, four of these guys, and I think after that, it really just exponentially grows. So. The big thing you want to take uh, take advantage of right now, while you can't collect these mon, is or these pals. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you want to go ahead and jump out here into the over or into these events as much as possible and upgrade these guys because once you achieve that, in essence, over and over and over again you're going to have the ability to go back in here and take advantage. Now, I could, I, it does kind of uh, kind of act here like I haven't beaten the, the tower, so I need to go... Oop, not what I meant to do. That's okay. I need to go back here and actually defeat the tower at some point, but the higher priority for me right now is uh, achieving those unit upgrades and achieving the... Uh, the, the catching of the 10 uh, bosses. So you could do the uh, unit upgrades. You could do the, the catch 10. You could take advantage of all that just with this glitch. And who knows how long this is going to last. Remember, we really thought that that glitch had been uh, basically eviscerated as of, what, Saturday, Friday, Saturday morning. So really, at any point in time, this could go away. It's definitely something you need to take advantage of and take advantage of quick. So while it is here... While it is available, do not miss out. But like I said, get yourself that single target or single player save as well, so that you can take advantage of that in uh, both in game later on and also in your server. So, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I'll go ahead and put up here on screen right now. There are several more of these and. They're all right here on the map. So go get them all before you do much of anything else because you really don't need high levels. The only one that is an issue is the uh, the, the flying tower. Uh, and with that one, you do need a, uh, a unit of the flies so that they can aggro him. But other than that, that's really about it. So you really do need a flying mount for that one. But beyond that, all these other ones are super easy. They're guaranteed catches, and you could do them while you're still fairly low level. So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and share, and I'll be back with more Pal World coming up for you guys here really soon.